All right, thank you, Jim. Flames shooting in the air after several cars are set on fire. Neighbors tell Wink News it's the work of a serial arsonist. These videos sent to our Wink News Facebook page. The fires are being set at the Heron Park apartments on Airport Pulling Road. Wink News reporter Nicole Papageorge is live there tonight. Nicole, we're talking thousands of dollars in damage. Chris and Lois, this is just an incredible amount of damage. Take a look at these cars set on fire just last night. You can see the windshield blew out. You can even see the wiring inside and all of the dashboard melted off. It was just a big blazing fire. Imagine waking up to this cars set on fire right outside your bedroom window. It's a recurring nightmare for neighbors at Heron Park, where they say a serial arsonist is on the loose. I don't want to live somewhere where cars are being blown up. I should I pay to live in a safe neighborhood. So. I'm afraid for my safety. I'm afraid for my neighbor's safety. Anita Madonna tells Wink News there's been at least five cars set on fire since she moved here in April. One was her roommate's, the other was hers, and it happened again last night. This has gotten out of hand. Whoever is doing this, the fires are getting closer together. Today, Wink News found these hollowed out scorched heaps of metal taped off from last night. You can see melted dashboards, burnt seats, and gas still dripping from the car doors. Neighbors say someone is lighting the fires with gas soaked rags. One of last night's victims, a disabled elderly woman. We talked with her neighbor who's so afraid for his safety, he asked us not to show his face on camera. What's next? Next, the cars aren't good enough and it becomes units. Neighbors say the management company isn't doing enough to protect them. They say the gate at the entrance doesn't work, the lighting is inferior, and there aren't any security cameras near the apartments. What we find a lot of are kids. Look at all these little kids. Yeah. Like, what if one of them blew up and one of these kids was about? Now neighbors are begging anyone for help. This here in park is a tragedy in the making and something needs to be done and done now. I contacted management Waypoint Residential. They have 15 communities like this across five states. Now, I didn't get a hold of anyone in their corporate office. I am told by neighbors here that they recently took over this property, but the woman who actually works the front desk here at the property tells me that the sheriff's office is investigating. We are live here in East Naples. Nicole Papageorge, Wink News. All right, thank you, Nicole. Public